If you collect payments for appointments, packages are quite important. They are a, an additional feature which can help a person to get more uh, just in one go. So let's find out where packages are located and explain how they work. So if you scroll down on these settings and go under business settings, you click on packages, then types. So what are packages and what is a gift certificate? So these are almost the same. Appointment packages is when you take individual appointments, which you charge for, and then package them together and sell them as one. Usually you might sell them at a discount. And when the person subscribes to these packages, they get a link and a code. So whenever they enter that code, they redeem minutes or hours or they might redeem the appointment the appointments themselves so when someone subscribes they are subscribing to use the points on their own but with a gift certificate you are still packaging all of those uh, events together whether at a discount or not and when a person buys or subscribes they can now send it as a gift certificate to someone and that someone can use the code to access those events. So appointment packages are for the person and a gift certificate can be sent. It's generated and sent to someone to access uh, those lessons. We're going to talk about subscriptions later. So how do we do appointment packages? We simply click there. So we'd have to name the package. In this case, it's a deal for computer lessons. Remember, uh, in the previous examples, previous videos, I created uh, computer lessons there. I now have put uh, payments on these. So each lesson would cost, uh, these lessons would cost $100. So these are two different uh, events. So a person would have to pay $100 for computer maintenance lessons and computer hardware maintenance lessons, another $100, uh, just as an example. Now I've selected these. These are the ones I want to package together. I want to sell them at the same time. So a person is supposed to pay 200, but instead of doing that, we then say maybe they pay 190 with a $10 discount. You might change it to a subscription, but we're going to talk about subscriptions later. You can put a category, a picture, and a description of this package. Um, the certificate, we're going to talk about it later. We can also put the number of days that this uh, package expires. Now, this is a very important uh, area. So a person gets a link and a code, and then they redeem either the minutes, the amount in dollars, or the number of appointments. Or the person can use these in an unlimited way, where they keep on using the same code and getting these lessons for free. But in this case, I want there to be a total number of appointments. And we are dealing here with group events. So on this group events, is just one there and one there. So whenever a person has a code, they can simply use that code and they have access to one of these. Or rather, they get one computer maintenance lesson and one hardware maintenance lesson. And after we do that, we simply add the package. You can access these on the main page or uh, there's actually a store for Squarespace. But in this case, it will automatically appear on the main page. So this is how you set up the package. What about a gift certificate? It's actually the same way that we set up uh, the, 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 the new package. It's just that it creates a new gift certificate. Let me show you how that goes. So, book, uh, so back on the packages, gift certificate and subscription page, we go to gift certificate. We said it's the same as appointment packages, but it's now got an option to send a certificate to someone uh, for them to make use of. So we'll just keep it a public with public access, uh, put it at $180. Uh, but now we've ticked the show printable gift certificate after purchasing. So you can actually send this gift certificate to someone and they can now access the lessons. But we'll set the rest as we had set up uh, the first time and we can choose the number of appointments there. And we're saying one, one. So the person who gets the certificate 
can access these events, get one of these lessons and another of these lessons using the same code. And after we do that, we simply add the certificate and share the link so that someone can access it. So we can set it up such that the administrator can do this or a person can just access it through the link on the landing page or the booking page uh, that we have. Just the general page uh, can work to do that. So this is how we set up packages and gifts. And next we're going to talk about subscriptions.